Israel hits Hezbollah targets after football pitch strike kills 12 young people. Israel says it has hit Hezbollah targets in Lebanon after 12 children and young adults were killed in a rocket strike while playing football in the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. The country's air force has blamed the Iran-backed militant group for Saturday's strike on the Druze town of Majd al-Shams, but Hezbollah has strongly denied any involvement. Early on Sunday, the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, said it had conducted airstrikes against seven Hezbollah targets, deep inside Lebanese territory. It is unclear whether there were any casualties. The rising tensions have the potential to trigger an all-out war between Israel and Hezbollah, whose forces have regularly exchanged fire since the outbreak of the Israel-Gaza war in October. Saturday's bloodshed at the town's football pitch was the deadliest loss of life in and around Israel's northern border since 7 October, when Hamas attacked Israel. Fighting between Israel and Hezbollah, which had previously been sporadic, escalated when the militant group fired rockets at Israeli positions the day after the Hamas attack, in solidarity with Palestinians. Israel's foreign ministry released the identities of 10 children killed in Saturday's strike, saying they were aged between 10 and 16. An 11th person was named but no age was given. Details of the 12th casualty were not confirmed. Verified video shows crowds of people on a football pitch and stretches being rushed to ambulances. Majd al-Shams is one of four towns in the Golan Heights, where about 25,000 members of the Arabic-speaking Druze religious and ethnic group live. On Sunday, thousands of people gathered in 